As I said earlier, we're going to leave it up to you to pick George's best barbecue. Today's edition of the Journal Constitution have an ad asking your, you to vote for your favorite. Just fill out the ballot at the bottom of the ad and send it to WSB TV. If you don't have a copy of the paper, put your favorite barbecue on a postcard and send it in. You want to mail it to Barbecue, WSB TV, 1601 West Peachtree Street, Atlanta, Georgia, 30309. Pickett has been reporting on just what makes Georgia barbecue so unique. As he tells us tonight, it's not just the smoked meat nor the sauces that make barbecue so special. It's also the people who make the barbecue. I believe the people like my food and they like me too because I, I try to manage right, try to cook right, and try to treat the customers right. Try His name is Jack right. Nelson. And he's been in charge of the smokehouse at Malir's Barbecue in Union City for 38 years. I raised up poor, and I started raising children, and I knew I couldn't make it at the job I was at. I borrowed $1,500 and went to barbecue business. And this is G.W. Caston, Toots Caston, to the people who know him well. The business he bought in 1945 for $1,500 was the Fresh Air Barbecue in Jackson. Dr. Watkin, he, the old man that used to be here, he, uh, he gave all his, most of his stuff away. I've, lots of people said, don't never go in yourself. Send your wife in and you'll get more for your money. <laughs> uh, he was partial to the ladies. <laughs> yeah, he was, he was sort of a lady, ladies' man. Between them both, Toots Caston and Jack Nelson have almost 80 years of experience in the barbecue business. He's all we're going to put on. Okay. Nelson learned how to cook barbecue from Virgil Malir, whose son Bill now owns the family business. And apparently, Jack learned his trade well. I don't guess I lost a piece of meat in there. Not yet. And it's not too late. And so, <laughs> it's not too late. And so I just uh, been real famous at it. So is Toots Caston. Under his guidance, the fresh air has become a Georgia institution. It, the atmosphere here, this uh, old rustic place, and they've been here a long time, and they, all the governors always eat here. Back in, in old man and Gene Taylor, his days, why he made this his headquarters here. So they just, uh, it's one of the, one of the few places that uh, I know of that's held up good for the last, uh, well, the last 40 years, anyway. When we visited Caston and Nelson, they were each going through the same daily rituals they've performed for so many years. Nelson has spent so much time working at the cooking pits that his clothing is now permanently saturated with the scent of the sweet, dark smoke that rises from the hickory and oak he burns. And Caston's hands are gnarled from years of peeling potatoes for his secret Brunswick stew recipe. But both men are well satisfied with the years they've spent working in the barbecue business. was the best thing I could have done. I don't think there's any, I don't think there's any, I could have got in anything that, with an education that I had that would uh, have done as, I have done as well as I have. I reckon been here so long and I just love to do the job I'm doing. I tried to cook the best barbecue, that's in order to try to gain all the customers we can. And so I've been mighty good about that. Bill Nigat, Channel 2 News. The, sauce, the folks who run most barbecue restaurants will be glad to tell you that theirs is the best, either because it's the hottest or the mildest or the thickest or the thinnest. But what they will absolutely not tell you, no matter how you try to pry it out of them, is how they make it. Do you want to tell us the recipe for your sauce? <laughs> you want my right off? <laughs> I just want to know if they're giving, giving us your secret recipe. <laughs> My father would come back from the grave and shoot me if I did, huh? It says right on the bottle it's got vinegar, ketchup, sugar, lemon juice, and spices. So, I mean, I could make this at home just on that basis. Except that's the secret right there, the spices. You won't tell us what spices are no. in? No. You could, you could readily see that if, if someone else got the sauce, then they could start a sweat barbecue with, with no problem. And that's why we keep it at home. Can you, can you uh, tell us what your sauce recipe no, is? No, I'd rather not tell you that. Why not? Well, I, I tell you, if anybody's got something to tell everybody, what they what they got? Well, won't be long before they won't have that. Is that is that put a good sense? <laughs> it not only makes sense; it makes for loyal customers. During our tour of Georgia barbecues, we ran into a number of people from out of the state who still look forward to coming back here to sample the flavors they cannot recreate.
Earlier this month, we invited you to send us your votes for the best barbecue in Georgia, and did you ever? The votes have been pouring in for weeks, and now we have the winners. And here's Bill Nygut with a report now, and Bill has also learned how to say thousands of postcards and letters raving about barbecue places all over the state. You voted for restaurants in Valdosta and Vienna, Columbus and Conyers, Rome and Roswell. You sang the praises of little joints with colorful names like Peanuts Redneck Barbecue in Bogart, the Portland Express in Suwannee, and Blessed Foods Catering in Marietta. And many of you not only voted, but also wrote glowing testaments about your favorites. For instance, Craig Lefkoff from Athens told us, you might as well end the contest. I found the best barbecue in Georgia. It's country's barbecue in Columbus. It was so good I married a girl from the same town. Kay Powell from Smyrna wrote, I've heard all about the best barbecue places in Georgia and have tried them, but the self-proclaimed experts have missed the boat if they haven't eaten Hook's barbecue in Baldwin County. And Gary Ralph Mays of Duluth told us, let me tell you, you haven't even tasted good barbecue until you've tasted Blackstock's in Lawrenceville. If you don't believe me, go down Grayson Highway and see for yourself. We got hundreds of other letters just like those with people touting their favorite barbecue restaurants. But when it came right down to it, what mattered most was the votes. We tallied them all up and came up with your choice for the top ten barbecues in Georgia. Here are the eight runners-up listed in no particular order. Dusty's, which serves North Carolina-style barbecue. J.R.'s Log House, Malier's, The Old South in Roswell, The Palmetto Pit Stop, Harold's, The Pink Pig, and Sprayberries, which may be the oldest barbecue in the Atlanta area. Your choice for the second best barbecue in Georgia was The Old South in Smyrna, operated for some 15 years by Helen Llewellyn. Yeah, what do you think that, that says about you? I mean, how does that make you feel about it? It makes me feel good. Very good. What do they like about your place? Brag about your place for me. First, they like the food, but then I think they like the at atmosphere a lot. We're not fancy, as you can see, and people sort of feel like they're home when they come here. And the number one barbecue in Georgia by your votes, the restaurant with the most pleasing pork, the most succulent sauce, the smokiest stew, the best darned all-around barbecue in this state is the fresh air in Jackson. And now... It's time to award the owners of the Fresh Air the coveted WSB-TV Piggy. And we are out now at the Fresh Air Barbecue in Jackson, Georgia. You know, the Fresh Air has been here since 1929. And in all of those years, it really hasn't changed a great deal. It's, it's the same place in many ways that it was then, and I think that's one of the secrets to the success of this place. We can find that out from G.W. Caston, who's standing with me here. Mr. Caston took over the fresh air in 1945, and he's the one who's guided it through its uh, most successful years since then. And with him also are Jim Brewer and George Barber. They're the younger generation of the family. They've taken over and are operating the restaurant right now. Mr. Caston, we had 165 restaurants that uh, got votes, and you came in first place. What, what's the secret to your success? What's so special about the fresh air? I think it takes hard work, and uh, that's about at long hours. That, that's mostly what I think is what... Well, most of the people have worked hard in their restaurant. What's unique about the fresh air as far as you're concerned? Well, it, it's uh, just... Uh, I left it like it was. When I come in, I, I, I think that's the way it's supposed to be. I think that's the way the fresh air barbecue is supposed to be, not, not too dressed up. What, what does that mean to you, Jim, in terms of leaving it as it's supposed to be? You're the new generation here. Well, I think it means a lot of things to a lot of people. I, we feed them second and third generation, and I think these people like to see that. I think it means a lot to them. They like the rustic nature of the place. They really enjoy it that way. Absolutely. Tell me what you think the real key to how you've done so well. What did, what did you see when you came in here? What do you like most about the fresh air? Well, there, there, there are a lot of things, Bill, but in all honesty, I think if I had to single out one reason, I think consistency. Uh, it's had to been good day in and day out to have uh, stayed here since the Depression. Well, let me very quickly, because we don't have a great deal of time, but I want to award you, this is the prestigious WSB TV Piggy Award, and Mr. Caston, for being voted by our viewers the best barbecue in Georgia, I present it to you, and congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right. We're going to be eating some barbecue down here. Maybe you should all go out and have some barbecue tonight wherever you want to. Live in Jackson, Georgia, I'm Bill Nygut for Channel 2 News. And Bill. I am starved. And Bill mentioned that he compiled a list of 165 restaurants. Have you listed them in order, Bill? I guess he can't hear me. He can't hear us. All right. Just bring back the barbecue. All right.